Marge Simpson is one of five main characters and arguably the greatest cartoon of all time. The Simpsons hit their stride in seasons three through nine, providing a run of quality episodes that will probably never be replicated. Now, like many others, I stopped watching shortly after the golden era. Somewhere between seasons 10 and 12 when a panda had sex with Homer and the Loch Ness Monster made an appearance. A couple of weeks ago I decided to hop back in for a quality assurance check. I wanted to see what's going on nowadays in Springfield. The results were exactly what I expected. Still low quality storylines and watered down jokes that don't hit like they once did in the 1990s. But one thing that stood out to me was Marge Simpson's voice. Allow me to present this timeline. Listen to Marge in the very first episode and we'll gradually progress the current day. Our little cat Snowball was unexpectedly run over and went to kitty heaven. <gasps> you took a picture of me when I was asleep? Guys, please, when you yell like that, no one can hear me. <laughs> how, how is this happening? How is this happening? I can't be the only one to notice that, right? I would think something as huge as Marge Simpson's voice actor being replaced would make its way across my newsfeed. I wasn't aware of a recast, so I had to look into it. And no, it's not a new voice actor. Marge Simpson has been voiced by Julie Kavner since 1989. 1987 if you want to include the Tracy Ullman shorts. One of the most iconic voices of all time is now barely recognizable. Which begs the question, what really happened to Marge Simpson's voice? Julie Kavner got her career started in the popular 70s sitcom titled Rhoda. But it wasn't until she worked on the Tracy Ullman show that her life would change forever. The sketch comedy show would often feature dance routines and animated shorts. One segment featured a dysfunctional yellow skinned family named The Simpsons. The only problem was that they were voiceless. Kavner was asked to do a favor and voice the mother character and she gladly accepted. After that, her life would never be the same again. The world fell in love with Marge Simpson. She is one of the most unique cartoon characters ever designed, from her vertical blue hair to her signature green dress. But the thing that set her apart from most other characters was her voice. You know, Fox turned into a hardcore sex channel so gradually, I didn't even notice. Yeesh. Julie Kavner has a soft yet raspy voice due to a bump on her vocal cords. She heavily amplifies her natural voice to give Marge that low, gravelly grumble that we all fell in love with. As time went on, she mastered her craft and would even go on to win an Emmy Award for outstanding voiceover performance. The Simpsons would shatter records and become a billion dollar empire in the process. The show is currently in season 35 and has over 750 episodes available for your viewing pleasure. Yeah, 35 years and several hundreds of episodes doing this. <laughs> I heard rumors that the voice actor had fallen sick. I also heard she started smoking heavily as a result of stress from the show. But the answer to the title question is a bit anticlimactic and fairly simple. It boils down to these three unavoidable letters. You ready? <laughs> Father Time remains undefeated, and it appears he has been knocking on Kavner's door for quite some time now. 30 plus years of doing take after take straining your voice just to get it pitch perfect. That would be enough to destroy anyone's vocal cords. At the time of recording, the voice actor is 73 years old, which is ironic because she sounds more like Mrs. Jacqueline Bouvier at this point. I have laryngitis and it hurts to talk. So I'll just say one thing, you never do anything right. Three weeks ago, I tuned into a bit of season 35 to see if I could get back into the show and I, I kind of feel guilty for contributing to the viewership numbers. More numbers equals more money. More money equals more seasons. More seasons equals more labor. It takes roughly six months to fully animate and complete an episode of The Simpsons. Without any concrete evidence, I can almost guarantee Kavner is currently in a recording studio somewhere doing voiceovers for season 36. It sucks and it's kind of sad to witness because it, it sounds physically painful. 
I, I wouldn't be able to prove that, but it sounds as if she's sacrificing what's left of her voice to entertain the audience. Now, I, I fully understand the Simpsons have become a cash cow and who would want to turn off the money machine? But at what point do you become a prisoner of your own success? After doing something for decades, knowing you've changed the world and impacted so many lives, I can only imagine how difficult it must be to pull the plug. But who wants to be that guest to overstay their welcome? You gotta know when to leave the party. Get comfortable with the idea of letting go. Yes, I hate when things get worn out. Mm, socks, welcomes. I personally have The Simpsons as my number one show of all time. Even with there clearly being more bad episodes than good ones now, that's how superior these seasons were compared to anything else at the time. With episodes like Lisa on Ice, <laughs> And you only move twice. Uh, you any sugar around here? Sugar? Sure. There you go. Sorry it's not in packages. Want some cream? Uh, no. And the episode most deemed the best ever, Homer's Enemy. What's this? Extremely high voltage. Well, I don't need safety gloves because I'm Homer Sim- The golden era was truly some of the greatest television ever created. When do you decide enough is enough? What monetary amount do you need to achieve satisfaction? M maybe us as viewers boycott the show, allow the numbers to plummet and force their hand. <laughs> Who am I kidding? That'll never happen. Perhaps they're waiting on a nice even number like season 40 to wrap up the legendary series. Either way, closure is deserved for us and for them. And it should happen before cast members inevitably start passing away. With the voice actors reportedly making hundreds of thousands of dollars per episode, it's safe to assume everyone is well off. So I pose this question. Is this a case of corporate greed? Will the legendary franchise get the send off it deserves? Or will the powers that be run it into the ground until nobody cares about America's first family? All I know for certain is when it comes to The Simpsons, the voice actors are the least of the worries. They'll never stop The Simpsons. Have no fears, we've got stories for years. And that's it for today, guys. If you're still watching this, I consider you my people and I appreciate you. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and drop a like and consider subscribing. I have a bunch of other videos you might find interesting. Until next time, stay safe, chase your dreams, and of course, do what you love. Ryan Banks, signing out. Give me my music. I move in the nighttime. Shit, everything I do in the nighttime. Make one turn two in the nighttime. Zoom from that bright light. Move by my right side. Crew in the spot, and it's like two o'clock. Wrist never been in cuffs, evidently.